Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel here and as usual, I have the OnePlus 7 Pro here but today, it comes with the Color OS which is based on Android 12 and this Color OS is a closed beta version so it's the third version of the closed beta and there will be a I guess it will be an open beta soon for the China users so please take note that this is actually meant for Chinese users where the global one will still have Oxygen OS based on Android 12 which will also come soon later maybe about in August I guess alright so let's see what's the difference here on the color OS so let me show you real quick about this is the OnePlus 7 Pro as you can see alright so this is the home screen as you can see here Alright, there's also Google services, so there's no worries, you can still use your Play Store, your Google Apps, everything works just fine. What you need to do is just to install a Play Store APK, which you just download and install it, and that's it, everything will work perfectly fine. And this is the app drawer, it's quite smooth actually, there's no some kind of lag. And let's see what we have here, the wallpapers, the icons, we can all change it. There are a lot of customizations comparing to the Oxygen OS, which is more basic like the stock Android 12. But with the Color OS, there are more settings, you can choose more customizations. Alright, let's see, you can have everything, you can choose a lot of settings here on your home screen. And let's go to the notification bar and you can see the background is blurred whenever you pull down the notification bar you can swipe left or right you can change your icons here this is the settings icon all right you can choose your functions icon here just pull and put there okay so let's see the settings here it's quite basic actually and the one I'm using right now is Dark Team. So it's in dark. And of course there's always on display here. Which I'm not using. And I'm not a fan of it, so I do not use it. As I think that the battery will be drained by this always on display. Alright. There are a lot of settings here as I mentioned. Display so let's see the light mode here everything will be in white as usual it looks great as well even the home drawer is white color let's go back to display and choose dark mode again screen color mode video color enhancer the screen resolution i'm choosing the qhd with 90 hertz display Alright, let's see the sound. There's not much. But of course, we still have the Dolby Atmos settings here. Navigation. You can choose a lot of things as you wish. There's too much for us to explore. The password. Fingerprint, everything works just fine. Let me show you real quick for the fingerprint. Alright. There we go. In three, two, one, go. Alright. It's working very fast actually. As you can see here. Alright. And let's see the battery. So for the battery I think it's super great with this version actually. It's very saving. I'm not using much for after I install this update, this version. So I would I will still be using it and see how it goes but what from what the other users are saying the battery is very good here you can get maybe like six to seven or even eight hours of screen on time i'm not sure if this is like true but i think it's it's good okay and let's see what's the special features here we have the flexible windows there are too much things here like as you can see here it's on the right side you just swipe it to the left you can go to your apps 
I think you can customize the amps here as well. So you click calculator, you back. You have a small floating here as you can see, where you can still browse your other apps while doing your calculation, and you can open it big or small. It can even be like opaque. You see, it's not. It's like transparent. All right, so it's quite good. I want to close it. Go back to settings. So that's the flexible windows. I think it's the sidebar here as I mentioned alright and for the flexible window it's similar to the sidebar actually it's the app right the simple mode driving mode and sleep mode Reno which is a voice assistant for the Chinese users alright it's the settings let's see what else we have the screenshot as usual we have it, we have screen recording as well. You can even record your from video camera while doing your screen recording. Like you can talk to the people like what you are trying to show on your screen recording. Enhancement service. Alright, so everything just works. So far so good, there's no big or no bug. Alright. And as you can see there's Google here. You can see here. Okay, you can also swipe here to your to your recent apps. If Google is here. System settings about your device. So this is the One Plus Seven Pro with one hundred twenty eight gigs of storage, and it's the Color S twelve point one. All right, with. Android 12 as of course and it has the RAM expansion feature here on the color OS where you will use your storage to extend your RAM and I'm not sure if it's working fine or what but I hope it works so I have now 11 gigs of RAM all right so that's all for the settings it's, it's quite smooth actually I would say let's see the power button takes some time to load the restart or the power off setting here and your volume rocker here you can customize as well All right everything is good let's see the camera here All right so this is the back it's just the normal camera app which doesn't has any update or Improve them, I would say. So it's just the same as before. Right. The let's see the recent apps. You can see it's fast. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this Color OS beta update, which is actually the closed beta, so it's not available to the public. But of course that is the link so i am now using it and if you want to try it you can try to install it i will link down up the description and bear in mind that the update might not be as stable as a stable update so yeah do back out your things everything before you try to install and do it on your own risk as it might break your device all right so that's the quick look for this update and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace